Well, the Bay County Sheriff's Office is working to turn lives around with their new care coordinator positions. Each of them specializes in a certain area, and this week, News 13's Tess Rowland introduces us to one of the care coordinators with a passion for helping those battling addiction. Mackenzie Galbraith started her career with the Bay County Sheriff's Office back in 2019 as a part-time analyst working to put together a map of overdoses in the area. When she says the opportunity to become a care coordinator fell in her lap. Helping people is definitely my passion and I'm able to put my degree to use as well as, you know, use the knowledge of substance use and overdose victims. And in her job as a care coordinator, she uses her expertise in psychology and is able to meet the people behind the numbers. I would you know, enter the overdoses and I would notice that the same names coming across once a month. Now she can directly address the issue. It's really nice to put a face with the name and the number. They're no longer just a statistic, they're a person. She offers services to those willing to seek help for their addiction issues. I think the most rewarding part would be seeing the change in everyone as they are going through treatment and they kind of go from feeling like there's no hope and there's no way they can get any help to seeing them just do a complete 180 in their life. And her job can be around the clock at times. I'm sorry, can I answer this really fast? Her clients range from all different types of people from all different walks of life. Most recently, she helped some transient members of the community after deputies had to remove them from property they were trespassing. There's five people we made contact with and two of them accepted services and were at doorways the next day. And some glimmering hope for Galbraith. Statistics are showing a decrease in overdoses in the area from this past quarter and a 29% decrease in fatalities. Which is extreme because we haven't seen a decrease in well over a year. Reporting in Bay County, Tess Rowland, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Eventually, Galbraith's goal is to have an overdose response team, which will be comprised of mental health experts, substance abuse experts, and probation officers to curb the trend. Galbraith hopes the team will be able to do outreach in schools to stop the trend as well.